Stomach Cancer Statistics, a Gapminder video with Hans Rosling. Stomach Cancer Statistic shows how this disease is distributed in the world. The data is from IARC, the International Agency for Research on Cancer in Lyon, France. And look, the disease is most common in China and Japan. The size of the bubble is the number of men who get this cancer each year in each country. The color shows the continent and the region, as you understand from the map. Now, let me show you the frequency, that is the proportion of men in each country. Then I have to show you a chart where the vertical axis shows the number of men per 100,000 men that get the cancer. And the horizontal axis here is the income per person in the countries. Low-income countries to the left, in the middle, middle-income countries, and to the right, high-income countries. Now, you can see that it stands out really that those countries in East Asia, with China here, are really those who have most cancer. The rest of the world, it's a special pattern. As income increase, stomach cancer increase, until you're a middle-income country, and then it starts to decrease again. And it's not because it's cured uh, or prevented, it's just that the spontaneous occurrence of cancer falls with very high income. And, and the, most, uh, the, the most known cause of this disease, it's not the only cause, but the major cause, is infection with helicobacter bacteria. And one hypothesis is that when you don't store food in your home, you don't get so much of that infection. And you start to store the whole food, but you still don't have the best hygienic condition. Then you get more of it. And when you get better hygiene, refrigerator, uh, more comfortable kitchen, then it disappears. But this is just the hypothesis. We still don't know the truth about why people get stomach cancer in different frequency in different countries. But we know that they do this. We know that the major problem is middle-income countries like Russia, Iran, and Brazil. And there are many countries, uh, many diseases that are like this, that they are rare in poorest country, most common in middle-income countries, and then rare in rich countries. Traffic accidents, bad teeth, depression, many diseases are distributed in the same pattern as stomach cancer is. Now, let me show the difference between the frequency of stomach cancer in men on the vertical axis and frequency of stomach cancer in women on the horizontal axis. It's the same proportion in almost all countries, but beware, it's about twice as common in men. For Russia, 37 per 100,000 in uh, men and only 16 in women. The reason for that gender difference remains mm, quite unknown. And, and uh, what I want to show you finally is the frequency of death from the cancer. Unfortunately, it's a severe disease. Some can be cured, but many die from stomach cancer. And, and, and the deaths is distributed in the same way. Country get richer, you get more death from stomach cancer. It's flat here in the middle income uh, range. And then stomach cancer falls in high income countries. And there's a special story to tell about this, is that this has changed very, very dramatically over time. If I go back to 19, it's 1952, I want to show. Then Finland was up here. Uh, Finland, a neighboring country to Sweden, has very good cancer statistics, reliable data since more than 50 years back. And this tells a very clear story of stomach cancer that used to be common, but that has almost disappeared in Finland. So cancer can change quite rapidly when life conditions change in the country. But it's not known exactly why this happened. Japan has another story to tell. It was also a country that in 1950 had a very high frequency of stomach cancer. But at that time, there was a great invention made in Japan, Mutsu Sugiura invented the gastroscope. He put glass fibers together in a tube and for the first time it was easy to look down into the stomach and detect the cancer early. And that was used in Japan. So beside the other reasons for, for uh, diminishing the death in this country, you know, early screening, early detection of the cancer and action helped 
to bring down the death rate of Japan. And this is really one great success of medical technology and health service in Japan. Cancer statistics is very useful because countries can learn from each other.